Hey guys, today I'm going to show everybody how I make my southern style green beans and these are awesome. These uh, got five pounds of fresh snap beans here and uh, got to clean them up, uh, cut the ends off that have stems. You just snap them, snap. I'm going to break them into pieces about two inches long, throw them in a pot. These little pieces here feed to my chickens. But, show you what all goes in this. Some fresh ground pepper and some whole peppercorns. I got some sea salt. I will go easy on this until towards the end because my chicken broth is not low sodium. It is low fat or not no fat. And uh, that has some salt in it. So I'll wait and see what, what it tastes like there. Plus, uh, let's see, I'm also going to do some red pepper, uh, cayenne pepper. I've got two kinds. This here's a, you know, McCormick's and it's it's really red. And this I bought from a uh, bulk dealer. It's a little more orange, but it's got a lot of heat. Some red pepper flakes. Some chopped garlic. I know it's from a can. I didn't have any fresh. This been in the refrigerator. I'm gonna use it up. Dice up some mushrooms. To put in it. Of course, I got bacon. I'm gonna probably put a. Uh, two strips of bacon in the bottom of this big stock pot. Give them just a little sizzle to release a little fat. And uh, then I'll throw some, uh, you know, put the beans in there and put the chicken broth on it. And if I need a little bit more fat, I've got some, uh, you know, reserved bacon fat we keep in the refrigerator. I will put a bay leaf or two in it. And like I said, I use chicken broth. Now I got about six, this takes about four hours to boil. So a lot of that chicken broth the liquid uh, water in it will boil away so you know I'll just replace that with uh, fresh water and all the good stuff in the chicken broth will remain you know it doesn't evaporate out the salt and you know any solids in it so anyway I'm going to get these all snapped up cleaned up rinsed off ready to go and then uh, I'll be back to uh, show you the progress well I got them all cut up and everything. I've got two very, or a very important ingredient uh, in the beginning, which is some onions. So i got a couple of nice purple onions there, and I'm going to get them uh, cut up in big chunks. I'll put them in there. Now, this isn't like sautéing green beans. You know, I'm just getting them warmed up and then eating them. You know, I love them that way, too. But this is southern-style green beans. These things are going to be cooked for four hours. They're going to be the absolute most tenderest things you've ever seen in your life. Succulent, succulent. Uh, just seasoned perfectly and this is uh, you know this isn't much this is the waste I'm gonna give it to the chickens and uh, I got some stem ends plus I got some uh, green beans that kind of softer you know dried up a little bit and didn't snap when I break them. so chickens will get those too this time of year they're coming from Mexico and uh, Central America I got them from uh, Kroger and you know, we'll be growing my own this year again, though. So, you know, season's coming up. Y'all try this recipe here out, see what you think. But I got them. I'm going to take them out of this pot and put them in that pot because I don't have enough room in here for the mushrooms and the onions and the juice and everything else I'm going to put in it and have it simmering. Now, once it does cook down a little bit, it will fit back in that smaller pot. So anyway, I'm going to get to uh, dicing everything up, get it all in, get it going. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I got the bacon in there, and it's uh, hot and sizzling. I'm going to, uh, I didn't fry it till it's crispy or nothing. I want it soft so it renders all that flavor off into the uh, beans as it cooks for four hours. I'm going to deglaze my stock pot with a little bit of uh, chicken broth there. Take that bacon and roll it around. Deglaze the bottom of the pan. Get all them bits. Don't have grease on the uh, lens, but anyway. Okay, I'm gonna set this down on the tripod so it's time to say goodbye to Mr. Shaky the cameraman. There we go. Now, what I have is my green beans. I'm gonna plop them right on in there. Five pounds of green beans. Keep your station clean as you go, folks. It makes it a lot easier. Now I'm going to put all of my chicken broth in. Start 
sorry it's taking so long, guys. I may edit part of this out later. Shaky the cameraman gets the shakiness from a half pot of coffee we drank this morning. And I haven't had my meds either. Let's see. Just about got all the chicken broth in there. There's the mushrooms I cut up. I sliced them pretty thick. And let, I just cut the ends of the dried stems off and then uh, left the rest of the stem up inside of it, sliced it thick. This is going to boil for so, simmer for so long that the onions and the uh, mushrooms are just going to look like mush. Well, the mushrooms will hold their shape, but the onions, they'll be unrecognizable probably. I cut them up into big chunks. And I'm just going to toss this in here. It'll fall apart as it cooks. I know you don't want to sit here all day long and watch me do that. Beautiful onion, though. Get all that in there. I think I want just a little extra bacon grease because those two thin slices didn't really put a whole lot in. So I'm going to put that in there. Just toss in a bay leaf. In fact, so much I'm going to put two in there. My uh, crushed red peppers, which are actually, I think, just red pepper seeds. Put about a tablespoon or so in there. They'll release some of that heat as they cook. And the uh, cayenne pepper. Put quite a bit of that in there. I like this stuff. Gives you nice heat and it doesn't linger and just blister you all day long. Goes away fairly quickly. Fresh ground pepper. And I'll also throw a, about a dozen or so whole peppercorns in there. Now my uh, canned garlic. I know, I know. Terrible. But I'm using it up. There we go. Springtime now. I get some fresh garlic. Okay, got all that. Give it all a good stir. Now I'll let that uh, cook up. I'll let it get a rolling boil. I'm gonna put some water on top of it to make sure I got them covered. I'll get it to a rolling boil, then I'll turn it down to a simmer and let that sit there and uh, simmer for about, about three and a half, four hours or until they're just super, super soft and, and yummy. And then I'll uh, check the seasonings and go from there. All right, we're back. It's been about actually almost five hours now. You'll know that they're done when uh, you go to when they get kind of limp. And then when they uh, you taste them, the broth is salty and spicy. And then you you know you're tasting the green beans as they cook along, and uh, the green bean doesn't really have any kind of seasoning or any kind of heat to it. So you want to keep cooking it. You know times are going to vary. You want to keep cooking it till you can bite a green bean, and then you taste that salt and the spice in the green bean itself as well as the broth. So then you know it's done and they're just as soft as they can be. I'm going to fill up a mug here. The onions, hope I ain't too steamed up, the onions are just mushy. But there are big hunks of, uh, oh, do this one handed. There's big hunks of mushroom in there. Now those mushrooms, they'll pick up the salt and the spice before the green beans do. So don't let that fool you. You want them green beans to be good and seasoned by the time they're done. And they get darker. They're a whole lot darker than they used to be. Alright guys, I'm going to grab me a fork and a ladle. Oop, get off this messy table. I'm going to grab a fork and a ladle. I'm going to put some juice in here. Grab me a fork and I'm going to have dinner. Thanks a lot. See ya.